This is a complete test using MCA motor circuit analysis technology. My name is Eric from All Test Pro, and today we're going to go over the AT7 Quick Reference Guide. Seven Pro instrument. So we have three ports for our three lead cables, a ground cable. So we're going to select our smaller set of leads for this motor. This is a 30 horsepower, 9 lead motor connected in a Y configuration for high voltage. We're going to put in black in lead 1, blue in lead 2, red in lead 3, and our yellow is going to go in our ground. So the first test we're going to do is the IND test. So we're going to select OK. That's going to give us some instructions. It says connect blue clip to phase two and yellow to frame ground. So we're going to go on to phase two. And we're going to clip our ground to make sure we have a good connection. So we're going to hit OK. It's going to ask do we want to do our DF and cap test? We're going to hit yes. And it's going to do our test. The yellow light means the test is in progress. So we got our DF and capacitance values. And then we're going to hit OK to continue. Insulation test, we're going to hit yes. Hit OK. So now we're going to hold down the test button to perform the test. So over one giga ohm, so we're gonna hit OK. Now it's gonna ask us please connect remaining black to phase one and red to phase three. So black to one, red to three. So now we're gonna hit OK to continue. Now it's gonna start our static test. So we're gonna be testing lead three to two. And say please wait as the test is being performed. And now we're going from phase two to one. Now phase one to three. All right, so when that test is complete, it's going to ask if we want to do our dynamic test, so we're going to select yes. This test, we're actually going to be rotating the shaft of the motor. So we want to get our shaft to a 12 o'clock position, and then we're going to hit OK, and start rotating the shaft uh, nice and smooth, nice and slow. You want about four beeps per revolution, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Alright, now it's going to ask to go to the 12 position, 12 o'clock position again. We're going to select OK. Test lead 2 to 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, now we're going to go to 12 position one more time, and test 1 to 3, we're going to hit OK. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now our results screen will be displayed. See our resistance is okay, our stator is okay, our rotor is okay, contamination is okay, insulation is okay. So now we can confidently put this back into our machine. We can also save the test by going to the save tab, hitting OK. We're going to hit save, going to name it, name it ATP. Hit OK. Next. And the report is saved. We can actually look at this on the computer via a USB cable, which is on top of the instrument as well, using our MC, MCA program. And that is a complete motor test.